In his role as a trade and development officer, Simon Chan regularly made the short trip across the border to China. The 28-year-old from Hong Kong worked for the Scottish office at the British consulate, helping IT firms invest in the region. We will soon arrive at Shenzhen Bay. On August the 8th, he took the high-speed train to attend a technology conference in Shenzhen. But on his way back, he was detained as he tried to leave China. We received a report uh, on the 9th of August uh, relating to a missing person case. Uh, but uh, for the sake of personal data, I couldn't uh, dis disclose uh, too, too much details here. The Hong Kong immigration authorities have confirmed the consulate worker is under administrative detention. That means the Chinese can hold him for up to 15 days without charge. Simon Chan left Hong Kong 12 days ago on the 12 o'clock train to Shenzhen. That same night, he boarded the 1016 train back home. At 10.42, he texted his girlfriend to say he was passing through the border. His family called the police the next day when he failed to return to work. The last message Simon Chang's girlfriend received from him contained the ominous words, pray for me. The British consulate has said that they are extremely concerned about his failure to return from the mainland. They are currently supporting his family and seeking more information from the Chinese authorities. Simon had signalled his support for Hong Kong democracy on social media. And one former British diplomat fears his detention could be in response to the UK government's comments on the recent protests. The message could be if to, the, to the United Kingdom, but out. Um, we, we don't find it particularly helpful you uh, reiterating your you know, uh, duty to be protecting Hong Kong's rights and freedoms under the joint declaration. This case could further deepen the political crisis engulfing this city. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Hong Kong.